Namaste everyone. Today we will do Pavanmuktasana series, Yoga for All. We will start with stretching. We will do some pranayams. So today we will use each part of our body. Pavanmuktasana series, it's a series when you prepare your body for asana class. You get it stronger, more flexible in your joints. Uh, you become more strong, you're, you're creating your core muscles, you're making them much stronger. Another announcement for today, because we from today we have 21 day lockdown. Uh, we will do 21 day yoga online. Only on Facebook live and on YouTube channel. Yes. Now we will bring our hands to Namaste in front of our chest, keeping our spine straight, chin parallel to the floor, gently close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Your shoulders and elbows are relaxed. Follow your natural breath. muscles bring your hands down above your knees open your eyes palms looking up to get the energy from the universe not look down here yeah? this is grounded this is open up yes so and we will do Small pranayam, you will inhale for three counts and exhale for six counts. F exhale fully and start. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. One, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one. Two, three, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, continue on your own. Come back to your normal breathing. If your eyes open, gently open them. And we will start our Pavan class. 
stretch your legs in front of you and now bend your toes squeeze and open open your toes wide again squeeze and open squeeze feet little bit away from each other and we will start our ankles rotation to one direction so each movement we will do around 10 times to really work it out our joints and move to the other Try to keep your spine straight, don't lean back, use your abdominal muscles engaged. Good, and now point your toes and flex, 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 again, point and flex, point, flex, point, flex. Point, flex, continue, feel your calves, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. And now bend your one leg, clasp your hands under your thigh and straighten your leg up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, toes pointing towards your face, exhale down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I will see excitement that you can see that your spine is straight, you are not bending back, again up and down. Very gently, no need to rush. And slowly release. Bend your left leg, clasp your hands under your thigh, and inhale up, exhale down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. Continue. Listen what is happening in your body. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and out. And release. Again, bend your right leg. You will again hold under your thigh. Bring shin parallel to the floor. And from knee joint, you will do circles. Yes? Pointing your toe, keeping your spine straight. Just imagine you are drawing circle in front of you. Yes? Continue. This is for our knee joint to keep our knee strong and healthy. And move inward. Chin parallel to the floor. Continue and release and change. Hold under the thighs of your left leg, shin parallel to the floor, point your toe and start to draw circles from your knee joint. Many of you can see that coordination lacking a little bit there, but with practice everything is coming into the place. And move inward. Good. And 
slowly release. Now you will bring your legs a little bit wider. Actually bring them as far as possible. This is morning, so remember our stiffness. You will bring your hands in front and with exhale you will twist and lean trying to touch your big toe. Inhale, come back. Exhale, side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, keep your spine straight. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try to keep your sitting bones on the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Draw your stomach in. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, continue on your own, keep your legs straight, pressing your calves, thighs to the floor, good, continue, this is also good for your waistline, for your digestion, a few more times. Good. And slowly come back. Bring your legs together. You will bend your right leg. Hold your foot and bring as high on your thigh as possible. Yes? So even if your leg a little bit in front, above your knee, it's also fine. And what you will do, I will turn again. Inhale, you will bring your knee close to your chest. Exhale, you will push your knee down to the ground, trying to touch with knee the floor. Again, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, Padmasana stretch, lotus pose stretch. Inhale up, exhale down. Notice that your Left leg is also active, your toes looking up, your calves and thighs touching the ground. Inhale down, sorry, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, up and down. So as you see, my other hand is on my foot, but you can always have your hand on the ground, yes? Try to keep your spine straight, don't round your back, good, this is nice hip opener, working on our hip joint, and release, and we will change, we will bring our leg, our foot, as high as possible on our thigh, the best is make sure that your foot looking up towards the ceiling, and again, inhale, your knee coming up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Remember to breathe. And down. Up and down. Up, down. One side is a little bit more stiffer than the other. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, down. more times. One and two. Very good. And now I will turn again. We will bring our feet together for butterfly pose, Vadha Kanasana, and we will do flopping. 30 times a twist. So when you do minimum movement, it doesn't work that much. So you need to really, really flop as you fly. People with PCOD, PCOS, fib uh, fibrosis, we will just stay in the pose without flapping. Yeah? And we continue. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. So for my students from Ukraine who doesn't speak English, I will do 
one more class every day, especially for you, in Russian language. So you can also enjoy the benefits of yoga in your lockdown stays. Yeah, and guys, remember, you need to stay positive. Yes. And now, we are sitting in a butterfly pose. We will hold our big toes and gently, with inhale, we lift feet off the ground, keeping our spine straight. We will stay here, first. And after we will start to open one leg to the side. Keep finding the balance. And in. Inhale, exhale. Again, open and bend. Open, bend. Continue on your own. Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Inhale and close. Inhale and close. Back is straight. Slightly you leaning back. Using your core muscles. Continue a few more times. Very good. And now, two legs. Open and close. Open and close. Again. Close. Again. Five. Another five times. One. Two. Three. Breathe. Four. Last one. Five. Bring your feet together. Bring it to the ground. And now, holding your ankles. Pressing with your elbows towards your knees. Very gently go forward bend as much as you can. And stay there. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And breathe out. You can feel heat in your body. Shoulders are relaxed. Neck, head is relaxed. And stay breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and breathing out. Work with your knees with every exhale, pressing down to the ground. Breathing in and breathing out. Stay for another five, four, three, two. Very slowly, very gently. Come all the way up. Bring your knees together. Just hold them for a few seconds. Keeping your spine up. Crown of the head, not with the ceiling. Bring awareness to your hips. Feel the difference when you started the class and what is happening now. Bring awareness into your heart. Breathe in. And breathe in out. And now we will do duck walk or a crow walk, which is also good for our hips and our inner spine blanket. So what we will do, I will show it from two sides. Yes? First I will show you forward. You come down. And you will walk in front, touching the knee to the floor, and up, touching, up, 
tension of keeping your spine straight. Yes. And the same way you are walking down, keeping your balance. Yes. And you continue. If this is difficult for you, you can just walk straight without bringing your knee to the floor and walking back. Yeah. So continue. Walk as you comfortable. So I don't need to show you the side. You can perfectly see as I'm walking in front. Oops. <laughs> Good. Continue. So you are walking in front of your mat and back. Yes. Very good for your hip, for your calves. Yes, good. One more time. Don't hit your knee on the ground. Good. Oops. And release. Shake the legs. This one is good for your heart as well. So as you notice, I'm keeping blanket under my hips. You can sit in comfortable position. It can be cross-legged, sukhasan, or you can sit in vajras. Yes? Comfortably. And we will work on our hands and wrists. So we'll bring our hands in front, make a fist, bringing down in, and spread toes out. Again, in, and out. In, out, in, out, in, out, really squeeze and really open, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out. Now you will bring one hand up, one palm up and you will push your fingers towards your shoulders with support of the other hand. Good. And change. Palms, fingers looking down. Feel tension, beautiful tension in your wrist. And change the hand. And stay. And change. I love this class, so I'm not asking series one of my favorite because you are working on every, every detail in your body. You start with your toes and you finish like really good workout for your arms. Release, make your fist again and start to do your wrist circles, your wrist rotations. to the sides. Touch your shoulders and open. Continue. Touch. Open. Keep your hands parallel to the ground. So as you notice, your palms looking up. Good. And now, turn your palms down and you touch. Down. Just bring your hands up, stretch and down. Again, up and down. Up and release down. Bring your hands on your shoulders and start your shoulder circles. Good. 
and back. Now for our neck, so if you are sitting in Lajas and you feel that your legs are tired, we can always change the pose. Yeah, you should be comfortable while doing your asanas. Reach into your chest. And inhale, lift your chin all the way up. So if you have neck problems, you just need to chin parallel to support. Exhale, bring your chin down to your chest. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Reaching parallel to the floor, start to move to the right, center, moving to the left. Continue, move your head, side to side. So if you would like any particular class on the knees, on the back bend, on the core, for your hips, just write the message and you will work it out. Yeah? Come back to the center and start to move ear to shoulder. Notice that your shoulders are fully relaxed. And now, reaching parallel to the floor, chin down, and you will roll your chin to the right shoulder, roll down, and to the left. Very good. Come back to the center. Now you will bring your chin up and roll side to side from your back. Again, if you have neck problems, you will just continue with your down half circles. Yeah. And come back. Good. And we will now go down, lying on our back. Our first pose, we will lie down straight. We will, you can keep your hands under your hips. Yes? If you uh, feel one is very sensitive, or have your hands right next to your hips. You will lift one leg up, point your toe, and start to roll and circle. Yeah, into one direction, trying to keep your legs straight. Notice that your other hip is not lifting off the floor. And change direction. Also for your lower back, for your hips, and release. Feel the difference between your two legs. You lift your other leg up and start to draw your circles. Good. 
Don't hold your breath, continue breathing. Change the direction. And now release the pose. Next one is a cycling. So I love to do it with my forearms on the ground. This is will be one variation. Yeah? When you are half seated. Another variation you can do, you can just lie down and do cycling from lying down. Yeah? So we will first cycle in front 20 times. Yes? Bend your legs and we start. One leg is bent, one is straight. Twenty and backwards twenty. Again, this is our core muscle working now. And slowly release. Bring your feet down. Lie down on your back. And hold your knees. To release tension on our lower back. And now bring your extend your legs. Lying straight on the floor. You will bring one leg up. Hold your ankle, your shin. Yes. And exhale. Release down. Other leg up. And down. Continue. One, and down, two, down, three, down, breathe, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, you can do it, eight, down, nine, down, ten, down. Just relax. Couple of breaths in Shavasana. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And now we will do Epa Vanmukrasana. We will bend our right leg, bring it to our forehead and release. Other side. And release. Continue. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. If you feel a lot of tension in your neck, don't lift your neck off the ground. Two more times. And release. Just relax again. In Chavasana. Breathing in. And breathing out. Slowly. Come again on your forearms. Bend your legs. Inhale, straighten your legs up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten 60 degrees. And bend. Inhale, 30 degrees. 
exhale and continue up down 60 in 30 in up back 60 in 30 in up in 60 in 30 in and now slower up and stay and release bend 60 and breathe bend and 30 breathe bend one more time up bend 60 bend 30 bend lie down hug your knees and roll side to side Very good. Breathing in and breathing out. So and now you will do the same rolling, but side to side. So you hug in your knees and you will roll to one side. With exhale, inhale, lift up and exhale to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale to the side. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. One. And two. Come back. Lie in short. Shavasana. Breathe in and breathe out. Pavan Mukhasan series make us more strong. We increase our strength, our flexibility. With our sweat, we remove our toxins. Breathe in and breathe out. rock and roll as you did to increase your stamina more who feels it can go more more you will have your feet in the end become more wider yeah and this will look you roll and you come in to sit it again you roll and you come up ten times roll and up Roll and up. Roll and up. Roll and up. Malasan. Roll up. Roll up. One more time. Roll up <laughs> and hug your knees. Light on. And now we will do both pose, now cousin, from supine, 
we will come to the boat pose. So you will lie straight, bring your hands behind your head, please inhale, you will lift your legs and your hands up. And release down. Again, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Inhale up, and release. Hands above your head, just bend your legs, feet together for Sukta Bhakta Kanasana. Lying down, butterfly pose, and stay. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Stay for five, four. Inhale, you bring your hands above your head, point your toes, stretch, exhale, bring your hands down, flex your feet, feet, toes, looking towards your chest, again, inhale, Yashikasana, point your toes, stretch your arms up, and exhale, flex your feet, hands down, one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Link feet, mat distance, hands in a deep position. Drop your knees on the right. Look to your left. Inhale, center. Exhale, change. Inhale up, exhale, change. Inhale up, exhale, change. Inhale up and exhale, change. One more time, up and change. Come back to center, extend your legs for Shavasana, lie comfortably, hands slightly away from your body, palms looking up, close your eyes, I will choose the time, very good, close your eyes, inhale through your nose, Exhale through mouth. Inhale through nose. Long exhale through nose. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Now bring awareness to your toes, relax your toes, my toes are relaxed, relax your feet, my feet are relaxed. Oh my God. 
comes up, relaxed. My knees are relaxed. Relax your thighs. My thighs are My hips are relaxed. Relax your stomach. My stomach is relaxed. My shoulders are relaxed. Relax your arms, your hands. My arms and my hands are relaxed. My facial muscles are relaxed. My body is fully relaxed from my toes to my hips to the crown of my head. With every exhalation, release any tension from your body, from your muscles. With every exhalation, release any tension, any worries from your mind. Bring awareness to your abdomen, your stomach. Observe the movement of your stomach. Or observe the movement of your breath. Now bring awareness to your feet, to your hands, slowly start to move your toes and your fingers. Bend your legs, slowly turn to your right side.
support of your hands. Slowly come to comfortable sitting posture. We will do yoga mudra before we finish our session. So you can sit in Padmasana. Just over Sukhasana or Artha Padmasana. Whatever is sitting you. Clasp your left wrist behind your head, uh, back with your right hand. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, twist to the right. Slowly go down, bringing forehead above your knee and stay. Inhale, slowly come up. Turn to the other side, exhale, going down and bring your forehead above your knee so you can do it in on top of muscle and stay. Inhale, slowly come up and with exhale. Going all the way down in front, bring your forehead down, relax your shoulders, relax your hands, and stay. Inhale, lift, slowly come all the way up. Release your hands and we will do Brahma Pranayam. Sitting in a comfortable posture. We will inhale. With exhalation, we will create sound of mm, last syllables of OM. Yes? And you will continuously do it for 10 rounds. Don't hold the breath. The breath and movement is the same. You inhale, exhale, making the sound, feeling the vibration of OM from your sitting bones, going all the way up to your crown chakra. Yes. So close your eyes, keep your spine straight. And whenever you're ready, start. Exhale first fully. Inhale.
And now join your palms in Namaste in front of your heart. Hands to your forehead. Your mind in Namaste up here and down your throat. Hands to the heart. Your mind in Namaste up here and down your intentions. Hands to the mouth. Your mind in Namaste up here and down your communications. Thank you for your practice. Love and light to you and your family. Have a beautiful day, everyone.